couple of weeks ago on the show, we talked about a town hall that Kamala Harris did, a potential 2020 presidential contender and also a senator from California. And one individual decided to ask her whether or not she would be willing to reject corporate PAC money. And at the time, she said, no, she wouldn't be willing to reject corporate PAC money. However, in a recent interview with The Breakfast Club, she's indicating that she recently had a change of heart. And, and I saw you talking about uh, corporate donations. Yeah. And, and you said you, you would, it depended, depends whether you would take them or not. You know, I was asked, I did a town hall of, a couple weeks ago in California, and I was asked that question. And... um I, I wasn't expecting the question, and I and I thought about it afterwards. And I'm gonna tell you, Charlemagne, I actually, um, I think that money has had such an outside influence on politics, mm. and especially with the Supreme Court it, determining Citizens United, which basically means that big corporations can spend unlimited amounts of money influencing a campaign. Right? We're all supposed to have an equal vote. But money has now really tipped the balance between an individual having equal power in an election to a corporation. So I've actually made a decision since I had that conversation that I'm not going to accept corporate PAC checks. Wow. Um, I just, I'm not. So how are you going to raise money for campaigns and stuff? Well, you know, I've, I've raised so far this year $3 million for my colleagues mm -hmm. for the 2018 election cycle, and most of that money has been like an $18, $20 increments. People are turning out. So this is definitely good news. I have no problem giving credit where it's due. This is the right step. But let's be, let's be realistic here. Koala Harris is only doing this because she knows there's no chance in hell she's making it through a Democratic Party primary if she is going to take corporate PAC money. That's the reality of the situation. So that's why she's doing this. Now, that's still a good thing. That shows that progressives, we actually have quite a bit of power and influence because Democrats know that if they want to win, if they want to become president, they have to win us over. And they're trying to do that now. Some of them are. Certainly not the ones who are not running for president, but the ones who are running for president, they know that progressives aren't willing to just lie down and accept whatever neoliberal shill the Democratic Party establishment tries to shove down our throats. We're not. And the fact now that corporate Democrats like Kirsten Gillibrand, Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, they're all saying that they're going to do what Bernie Sanders has been doing throughout his whole career and reject corporate back money, I think that is huge. So what they're trying to do is make sure that what happened to Hillary Clinton in 2016 doesn't happen to them in 2020. They know that there is a huge left-wing wave that's coming to make sure that the Democratic Party moves back to the left. And we're not going to let anyone through the Democratic Party primary if they're corrupt, if they're brazenly corrupt. I still have a lot of issues with Kamala Harris, Kirsten Gillibrand, Cory Booker, and you should too. We have to remain skeptical because as a friend of the show, David Dole, host of The Rational National, pointed out on Twitter, Kamala Harris had a meeting with Hillary Clinton's biggest financial backers in the Hamptons in July of 2017, that recently. So to claim that she cares about the corrupting influence money has on politics and to only now come to this realization that we have to do something about it conveniently uh, a year before she announces her candidacy for the presidency, it seems a little bit disingenuous. But with that being said, I don't want to shit on corporate Democrats when they do the right thing. I want them to know that we are willing to take yes for an answer. And if they're going to actually fight for things like Medicare for all, then I'm going to applaud them for it. I'm not going to say, oh, well, they only did it because they want to win. Well, I don't give a fuck how we get to the policies that uh, we need and want. I don't care how we get there. All I care about is getting there. Now, with that being said, I find it a little bit strange that we don't see people who are corporate Democrats who co-sponsored Bernie Sanders' Medicare for all bill speaking out about Medicare for all. So, Brian Schatz, for example, he co-sponsored this bill, but then he went on to talk about how he's pretty much against Medicare for All. So, co-sponsoring Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All bill was nothing more than political theater. So, look, we, we have to stay vigilant. We have to understand that these are 
calculating corporate Democrats who want to win. They're politically ambitious. So they're going to do everything they need to, to make sure that they win. This is part of that. But if they're, if they're making improvements, if they're moving in the right direction, that's still a good thing. I still applaud them for it. And I think we also need to pat ourselves on the back because we did this. Anyone who bemoaned progressive purity tests, um, now they see why that's important. It's because by actually having standards, that moves Democrats and politicians, generally speaking, in the right direction. They're supposed to represent us, so why shouldn't we demand that they represent us adequately? So look, this is this is good news. Um, kudos to Kamala Harris for actually doing the right thing here. Um, this should be something that everyone in the Democratic Party does, but they're not going to do it unless they're running for president. With the exception of Joe Biden, because he's definitely running, but he hasn't done this. But I think that he believes he could still get through a primary coasting on name recognition and nostalgia through the Obama years alone. But it's not going to work for you, Joe. We're going to fight you. You will be our Hillary Clinton this time. So we will fight you and we'll fight any corporate Democrat that's not unapologetically progressive. Support this podcast by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash humanist report.